subscribe real quick before this video starts make sure you follow me at 415 kodai on twitter and also gfx comment and we also got a discord server so uh, if you're interested join and i hope you enjoy this video welcome back to the channel and today um today's tutorial is going to be on how to render a car a little car scene or um just how to texture the lighting for car renders in general so first of all we're here in roblox studio and um yeah the first thing we do is we're going to grab a car model so just type up car and from here you want to pick a model of your choice um you want to make sure you pick a well a uh, well-made model because that that matters a lot so I'm gonna pick this Tesla Roadster right over here by it's it's mute something so you just want to click on the model and you can right click and go to export selection and now from here you want to name uh, the file whatever you want and you want to save it somewhere where you can find it so I'm going to name it uh, Tesla Roadster there we go all right now um it's going to take some time to export but after that's done we're gonna head over to blender all right so here we are um first things first is we're going to hit a and this will select all the objects in our scene now we're just gonna hit x and click on delete right over here if you don't know how to navigate around um you just want to click down on your scroll wheel and what this will do is pan around the scene if you hold shift while clicking down on the scroll wheel you could uh, move sideways like this and obviously you could just zoom in and out so we're gonna go to file import wavefront objects now you just want to locate the obj file of your car mine is right over here and um, yeah for geometry we're just gonna keep it on split by objects and we're just gonna hit imports there we go now uh, let's go to object set origin and let's go origin to geometry and this will put this orange dot onto the center of the core so now if we hit G on our keyboard GX we can move the core on the X axis and GY Let's move this to the center. And now if you go up here, um, there are three bubbles. You just want to click on the third one. This will enable our render view, as you can see. And we're just going to click on this red circle, this globe. We're going to click on this dot beside color. We're going to go environment texture. And from here, you want to hit open. And now you just want to use any XDRI of your choice. You could download a lot of them uh, online. Just look up free XDRI, and I promise you will find a bunch. But I'm just going to use some preset Blender ones for now. So let me try this one. Um, let's go over here, go to Film, and turn on Transparent. As you can see. All right. And so yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing around with these XDRIs till XDRIs till I find one that um, I think looks nice. Uh, this one is not bad. Sunrise. This one is alright, and we got this one. Um, I like this one the most, so I'm just gonna keep this. Now we're gonna go to render settings, render properties, right up here, second button. We're gonna turn on ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflections as you can see all right so now uh let's click on the model we're gonna go up here to object on object mode and we're gonna change this to edit and just click on the face legs and then we're gonna click on the tires all right uh exit out so if you hit tab you can switch from object to edit mode quickly and we're gonna go to material. Let's turn on. Let's turn on uh, metallic, specular, and let's drop this down. As you can see, 
and then tab we're gonna click on the rims let go and let's turn these up all right and, uh, there we have it that was good and now we're just gonna hit tab again we're gonna click on the, the lights Surface, um, we're selecting the mission, turn up the strength as you can see. Um, let's click on the main body and uh, we can actually change the color. So, if you want a different color, you can change it like this. So, here's a black. All right, so now I'm gonna click on the windows, and for some reason, these windows and the tires are the same material, which uh, is pretty odd. But um, I hit select, and now you see all these are the same material for some reason. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm gonna go to the side view. I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard, and I'm just going to hold Shift so I can deselect these areas. As you can see, I'm gonna turn this mode on so I could get rid of these. All right, those are uh, pretty good to me. So now we just have the windows. Turn this off and we can right click, go to separate by selection. All right, so now we just got only the, uh, the windows. And all right, so now we just have the windows separate, as you can see. And I'm gonna take this, I'm going to make a new material, new, I'm gonna hit assign, all right? And let's have out, okay? So with this, we go uh, metallic all the way up. Change the colors to black. All right, and we're gonna go transmission all the way up, and we're gonna go down to right over here. Turn on screen space refraction, and change these modes to alpha hashed. All right, and let's turn the roughness down. As you can see, adjust the uh, specular. Alright, for the IOR, 